Hello everyone, I'm Ethical Zombie and welcome back to our Pokemon Eternal X Nuzlocke Challenge. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to continue our way down Route 12. And uh, before we start that, um, thank you to a kind commenter who let me know that I missed something for free, maybe. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. This kind Lapras here once saved me from drowning. I feel bad though, I can't afford to travel around and show it the wide world beyond these parts. Hey, I've got an idea. You've got a rumble badge, you must be strong and seasoned traveler. Would you kindly take this Lapras? Sure. So, Water Ice. Um, uh, yes, Lapras gets... Oh, yeah, definitely want to. Um, so, this is going to be... Um, uh, we will name you in honor of coffee and card games. Because I have to trade in Lapras. I, I need Lap. I think Lapras is going to be cooler. Um, gonna give more coverage because we have dragon and we have poison. So when coffee evolves, that'll just be kind of overlap. Uh, Dragal, Dragal Gauge, I don't know exactly how it's spelled. Um, it's gonna be redundant, but Lapras being water ice is gonna be good against dragons, which we need. And it's also gonna be good against uh, fire, which we also need. Um, so we'll see how that works. Uh, I think this is gonna be a good call, but we'll call him uh, uh, Card G. Alright, we'll call him Card Games. I like it. Uh, so, Lapras, it's time for you to move on. Go out and swim to your heart's content across Kalos. And uh, yeah, so let's continue our journey through Route 12. Oh, oh, that's right. He doesn't know Surf by default. So let's go to the bottom. And teach him surf. Ah, uh, look at him. Card games, learn surf. It's a great special attacking move. And we can just get rid of Parish Song. Any Pokemon that hears this song faints in three turns unless it switches out of battle. Actually, I'm not getting rid of that. Uh, that could be very good. I don't know how the AI deals with Parish Song, um, but that might be very good if I can just... Uh, Body Slam does... No? 85, 100. Accuracy is good. Uh, powering up Water-type moves is always good. Ice Beam I definitely want to keep. Parish Song I want to keep. I think I'll get rid of Rain Dance. Uh, or Body Slam. What do, what do you... What are we thinking here? Um, let's get rid of... Yeah, Heavy Rain for five turns, powering up Water-type moves might be very good. Um, but I think I'd rather just... Let's just have Surf. Stab Surf is really good. He comes with an Ice-type move, so that's amazing. Okay. Uh, cancel. Yep, okay, so he knows Surf. Uh, I know Stoutland can learn Surf, but I've read that in e in Pokemon X, this Lapras shows up in the overworld. So that's awesome. That's pretty cool. Uh, so let's keep going. Um, I have mapped out our next encounter, so I know where to expect that. And I think I actually am going to take a few minutes to grind up Lapras, I uh, believe it's level 30. And uh, yeah, a Dewey and card games. Oh, okay, he's 35. I'm gonna grind them up to about 30 to 39 with the other two. Um, I'll put everyone else in the box and just kill a bunch of stuff. So I will be right back once uh, this grinding session is. Okay, so after a bit of grinding, here we are. Uh, everyone should be level 39. Let's check. Yeah, so everyone's 39. Uh, card games and Dewey have both been, actually we can check their IVs here. Let's see, in the Super Trainer. So there's Dewey, I get, did some IV training for both of them. And special defense and defense for Lapras here. Um, overall, Lapras had a pretty good special attack stat, so I didn't really worry about, about that too much. Um, but uh, the speed EVs were kind of incidental, so. Let's keep going. And, oh, do you want to give me a Pokemon too? 
Hi. No, okay, you're just talking about your mill tank. Uh, so let's keep going, and we will see what this route holds. Uh, another breeder. Let's fight him. I like to bury my face, uh, something, uh, neck, and take a big whiff of its scent. It's a jinx for battle, I hear. Okay, what are you burying your face in? It's a little weird. Pokemon breeding. Okay, probably the Zangoose. You. Zang no wonder Zangoose looks so upset. Uh, you are normal. Mr. T could probably just, uh... Let's just use, uh, uh, I don't know, Dragon Claw. That's stab. Yep. Oh. Ow. Oops. That was rude. Wait, return is super effective? <sighs> Again, this is... Why is return super effective? I wonder if Return... What does Return do? I wonder if Return does um, the same type of damage back. Which would be interesting. Especially against the dragon. Okay, Taurus. Uh, let's go ahead and switch out Mr. T. He's done his job. Let's go ahead and put Dewey in. I mean, after all, this is Dewey's job. This breeder seems to like normal types. Uh, payback shouldn't do much. Yeah. A, it's not very effective, and B, I didn't do anything. Uh, so let's go with a power-up punch. Oh, I could have mega. Yeah, I should have mega. Payback will hurt a bit. Uh, but this will definitely kill anyway, so I'm not worried about it. Now I'm plus two attack. Power Punch is pretty good. Boosts him as well. That's why I use it instead of Low Kick, unless I know for a fact that... Uh, oh, Rufflet. I think that's... I think that's Braviary's pre-evolution. Uh, but you're flying. Dewey might have trouble with you. I don't have any electric Pokemon. Oh... Okay, so I need to remember that Bulbafet is weak to flying. Uh, Mr. T being having rock moves might be good. Yeah, let's go with... You know what? Let's just pull in Mr. T. We will heal up and then get some attacking in. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I think that speed... Oh, and you healed up a little bit on your own. You know what? I think you're fine. Mr. T, go with a... No, you know what? Kind of worried. Um, no, you, you have level advantage. Let's go with strength. Okay, slash shouldn't do much at all. Is that That is super effective. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. And let's see what else you have. There we go. Pokemon Breeder defeated. Oh, that's right. A Jinx is something that brings you bad luck. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> he didn't say... He said the wrong thing because... Wow, what a... What a dumb... Uh, let's heal up real quick. Ah, okay. So we're done healing up. Um, I think the next level cap, by the way, is going to be... I wonder if this... Uh, but is is 47, so we have some growing to do before the next level cap. Uh, oh! Comarine City. Nope, okay. Oh, Hollow Clip. What's going on? Oh, hey, how's it going? Ethical Zombie, I challenge you to a battle in front of the gym. Prepare yourself. Oh, thanks for the heads up. I have no idea what level you're going to be, and that's kind of terrifying, actually. Can I? No, I wish I could fish here, but I don't think this uh, city has a... Um, has a uh, blah, 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 blah. What am I thinking? Has an encounter. I didn't see it on the list uh, for Pokemon X encounters. 
uh, when I was checking. Uh, collect a many interest you know. Bye. <gasps> oh, this is the guy. Look at this. So this is uh, something they added in Eternal X is the ability to just buy these stones. Uh, I don't think I need any of these. Mawalite might have been okay. Uh, Minectite, if I ever had an, a Minectric. Nope, that's fine. Unless you want to buy random stuff. Let's see if he'll buy random stuff. Uh, high prices? Yeah, cool. Uh, okay. How many do I have? Yep, $5,000. Uh, do I have anything else I can sell? Uh, uh oh, I saw it. Pearl? Uh, yeah, I have three pearls. Yeah, it's some money. Why not? And I... I bet I rarely ever use these, but I keep them just in case I want to do some kind of strat with involving them. Uh, let's see what's in this house, because I really don't... I'm not looking forward to... Fighting Serena. Uh, please don't take any of my wife says to heart. You're just simply too much for your advantage. Aw, silk scarf. Uh, I used to buy silk scarves, but uh, okay, I I don't remember what the silk scarf does. Uh, boost the power of normal type moves. Okay. I mean that that might be good to just give to um. Uh, I always forget his name. Greg. That might be good to give to Greg. Uh, but no, I, I think not. Are you going to give me a new fishing rod? Uh, let me guess. I'm a good uh, collector. Yeah. Yeah, one good rod. Take it for a spin. Yes. Nice. Because the old rod is not great and doesn't get interesting encounters in the same way. Oh, hey. You gonna give me something too? No, okay. You? Yeah, okay. I really don't want to fight Serena right away, so. Well, oh, totally random TM quiz. Give me the go. I'll give you a TM. You wanna try the quiz? Uh sure. Now here's the question. What's move that I'm describing? It's a draining attack that restores the user's HP by half the damage taken by the target. Giga drain uh, yeah, Giga Drain. Correct, correct, correct. As I promised, give you a TM. TM 100 Giga Drain. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, wait. She said, see, see her back tomorrow for another TM? Oh, oh, oh I might abuse that. Uh, let's see if I am correct. Indeed, I am. Venusaur. You are gonna, so power 75. Yes, this heals you. Power 120, cut, definitely not getting rid of. Venishock, not getting rid of you. Sleep Powder, not getting rid of you. Is Giga Drain worth it? Your special attack is much higher. And cut is physical. I could probably teach cut to someone else to give uh, grass coverage. Um, so let's do it. Oh, HN moves can't be forgotten now. Yeah, I forgot that HMs can't be forgotten. Pedal Dance is good, but it does confuse, and it locks him in. A Giga Drain does heal. Let's... let's do it. I can always relearn Pedal Dance, I think. Uh, I think Giga Drain has a bit more utility, being 75, stab. It's good, uh, and it doesn't lock him in, in case I need to switch him out or something like that. In the same way that uh, Pedal Dance does. Oh, hey! Why, hello, ethical zombie. What's what's with her wings? Congratulations, I see you finally attained everything you need for a mega evolution. A mega stone from the, for the trainer, a mega ring for the... Oh, a mega stone for the Pokemon, a mega ring for the trainer, and a strong... And a strong bond with your Pokemon. A strong bond? It's only a hypothesis, but I think a bond between Pokemon and trainer is the key to this new evolution. And what is this bond exactly? And why are there examples of mega evolution only in the Kalos region? There's still so much we don't know. Does this make you think something in, like, Kalos' legendary Pokemon? Found only here in the Kalos region, right? Nowhere else. 
Yeah. Oh, wow. What an excellent point indeed. The more you know, the more you research. Excitement never ends. Something with that bench was really interesting, I guess. Oh, fly. Finally have a flying type move. My god. I I swear, if Greg is the only one that can learn fly. Really? You, you couldn't go around me? Boss, they're really important to us all. When I'm acting, I always think I'm all, I, I think I'm always trying to forge a bond between myself and the character I'm playing. So yourself. If I think all about this, about is how I'm nothing like a character, then I'll just hate playing it. But if I focus on what I have in common with the character and put myself in her shoes, I might be able to understand her. It's the same for people or Pokemon. Oh, never mind me. I'm just babbling about my own things. Let's have a battle next time we meet, shall we? I'm still looking. I'm so looking forward to it. Okay. Thanks you for not battling me here. Hee hee. Every movie start. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, let's see if anyone can learn fly. No one can learn fly. I need a flying type Pokemon. Who would we replace if we had a flying type Pokemon? I think Stoutland would be the, uh, the obvious choice with our current actually pretty awesome team. Now that I think about it, looking at our team, we have two starters. Dragon Rock Ty Tyrantrum. Um, yeah, Lapras is good. And Lucario's great. I love Steel types. They're my favorite type for obvious reasons. Stoutland might be the only one. Yeah. Hello. That's cute. How he uh, kind of curl leans down for the child. Nope, let's go heal up just in case Serena or someone tries to fight me. Oh, oh, there's two people in the Pokemon. You see that? Uh, in Eternal X, they usually sell TMs. I don't know if that's normal, but in, in regular X, they might sell TMs as well. I'm not sure. Let's see if he sells anything good. Uh, Razor Fang. Oh, okay, so it's different. Razor Fang. Uh, when the... Holder successfully inflicts damage. The target may also flinch. That's pretty good. Increases the crit ratio. And dubious disc. I think... Is the dubious disc used for... I think that's used for Porygon's evolution. It might not be, though. Uh, okay, so let's go with a few Ultra Balls. They're much cheaper in this... In the uh, hack. And let's go with some Hyper Potions, which are not cheaper. Yep. And a few more Super Potions. Um, let's go with 10 Super Potions. And now we're all out of money, so that if we ever lose the lock, we don't have to pay much money to whoever destroys us. Um, I'm going to check around the town to see who we can get anything free from. Okay, we're back. Uh, so I just looked around a bit, and let's, um, no, leave me alone. I want to see if there's another encounter before going to the gym, so I got to keep an eye out for where the gym is. Oh, an item? Sky plate, that's pretty good. I think that's for Arceus. Uh, I have no qualms, that was the gym, so it's a good thing I didn't try and go in there. Uh, but anyway, I have no qualms about using legendaries in my Nuzlocks. I think they're perfectly legal. And um, honestly, if you, if you catch them, great. Uh, it's just they're so hard to catch. In randomizers, you might get um, Master Balls randomly, which is a great reward. Uh, oh, let's see. Route 13. Lumios Badlands. Uh, okay, I skipped. It looks like I skipped the Azure Bay. So let's get our encounter in Route 13. And this should be... Um, okay, this actually might be huge for us. Uh, let's see who we can leave out front. Uh, Bulbafet is a... No, no. Bulbafet. Okay, come on. Get in the front. Or actually, yeah, yeah, because I want to put him to sleep. 
Um, I don't want to do too much damage to whoever I... Oh, what is that? That's cool. I'm surprised he didn't want to fight me. Should we just get that as an encounter? This is interesting. I Again, I've never been here, so... Oh. Hello, crazy guy. Uh, you know what? Let's go get an encounter. Come on. There you are. And let's see who it is. Do I recognize it? Mm, that sounds small. <gasps> Again, I like steel types. And Exadrill is good. Uh, okay, so let's just make sure we don't kill him accidentally. First thing we'll do is Sleep Powder. And you avoided the attack. Okay, Exadrill. Calm down. Sleep Powder. Not Exadrill, sorry. Drill Burr. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, let's go ahead and Mega Evolve you to boost up that defense. And I'm going to look up... Okay, so your attack... Yeah, it's amazing, by the way. And he's Ground Steel, am I right? Let me see... When he evolves, of course. Yes, Exadrill is Ground Steel when he evolves. Okay, put him to sleep. I need to... Yes, thank you. I need to find something that he is not weak to. So he's weak to Water, Grass, Ice right now. Rock and Poison are half damage. Okay, so let's go ahead and use a Venoshock. Half damage. Shouldn't do much. Oh, that went down really fast. Okay, uh, I think a critical kill. Uh, so let's just go with a... Yeah. Let's go with a Pokeball. Let's go with a... Uh, he's asleep. But I think a nice Luxury Ball should be nice. Should be good. And what level do you evolve at? Come on. 31. Oh. He'll evolve immediately into Exadrill as soon as... As soon as, uh... As soon as he wait, levels up once. Okay, Earthquake, calm down. Calm down. No, you're not... You're not... Uh, okay, Earthquake, who... My team is horrendous against ground right now. Uh, this is why I think Stoutland um, might be replaced by Drillbur here. For, or Exadrill. Uh, Lapras might be good. Lapras kind of tanks most things. Yeah, let's switch in Lapras. Mega Venusaur is good, but... Yes, it's not not great. <laughs> yeah, okay, what else? Um, so let's go with a Ultra Ball. I need to sell my Timer Ball or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll sell the Luxury Balls. Okay, come on. Two... That was a critical catch? Okay. I've been playing for a long time. I've never seen that actually happen when I play it. Just like, uh, I've had thousands of hours in Pokemon, never caught a Shiny. I, same thing with Temtem, never caught a Luma. Maybe I just don't play enough. Oh, you're only a foot tall? It's adorable. Okay, Drillbur, what's your name? Uh, yes, I want to give you a nickname, and let's see. I'll be right back with a nickname. Okay, you're going to be Santini. Uh, okay, Santini. You're probably going to get onto the team uh, right away. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Uh, Santini's joining the team. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the Pokemon Center, and I'm sorry, Greg... But Santini is going to be huge right here. Um, especially considering the next... 
uh, the next gym. Um, don't really have anything in most, and like half the Pokemon have a weakness to, sorry, Stoutland. I'm gonna give you your own little, you're gonna be right here in the middle, or in the top right corner, uh, with coffee. You two can talk about it. But most of the Pokemon in the next gym have some kind of um, Earth move, which is gonna really just be hard to deal with. Um, so anyway, so hopefully Drillbur evolves real soon. We'll put him in front. Uh, he's ground type. I have to switch out my team real quick. One second. Let's take a look at Dr Santini. Uh, summary. Yes, your special attack is red, is hot. That's terrible. Speed is low, special attack is hot. That's absolutely horrendous. You are a physical attacker, 100% glass cannon. Hone claws, that's gonna go away. Rock slide is good. Earthquake is even better. Uh, slash is kind of crap. Um, let's see what you can learn. It's almost as important. You cannot learn fly as I had expected. Uh, you can't learn something weird. No strength. I think I'm okay with the move you do know. Oh, you can learn cut. That might be some interesting coverage. I'm kind of worried. It's okay. So the reason I'm thinking about this cut is basically base power 100. Uh, it's always a crit. Or maybe it's base power 75. Do I want to teach him cut? Uh, bait, attack stat, and accuracy instead of slash. Yeah, I think... Yeah, let's let's give him cut. Uh, I think that's going to be good. Rock smash is fine. As a fighting type move. Bulldoze, I think you have Earthquake, so that's better. Uh, payback. Return. Why was that super effective against Mr. T? That's weird, because it's normal type. I'll have to do some, some digging into why that's actually super effective. Um, I think the bigger thing here is that we need to get him to evolve. So let's put him in the front. We're all healed up. And I definitely want to evolve before I take on the next, uh, I, I, before I take on Serena. Okay, um, let's get rid of the bike real quick. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that's a fight. Ooh, Doug Trio. Doug Trio would have been okay too. But I think I'm happier with Exadrill. Well, future Exadrill. Uh, let's switch you out for card games. Now I'm gonna have to do a bit, a bit of grinding on Santini here. While card games destroys this. Ooh, do you hear that thud? Yeah. That eh, did nothing. Surf. Kill him. Kill him. Goodbye, Doug Trio. Meow, meow, meow. This keeps moving. Uh, so. Oh, come on. Okay. Why is this so hard? Oh, the wind. <laughs> oh, what? What? Okay. We'll explore this area, Route 13, in the next episode. Uh, I think I'm at about 30 minutes, so I don't want to, you know, make the episode too long. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure to leave a like. And if you loved it, make sure to subscribe and share it around. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.